legislator from Saipung Sotunga constituency, Santa Mary Shilla, today said that the state government is pursuing additional rupees 89.90 crore for repairing and developing 102 kilometer roads at National Highway No. 6 in East Gentia Hills District. Addressing a press conference in Shillong, Shilla said the Ministry of Road Transport and Highway has already sanctioned rupees 281 crore in October last year for the project which is expected to be completed by 2025. She said that additional rupees 89.90 is required to develop the areas which are more prone to landslides, flash floods and mitigation, mitigation along the 102 stretch of National Highway 6. She also informed that after receiving the sanction of rupees 289 crore, the work has been allotted to two contractors. I would like to thank the Ministry of Roads, Transport and Highway for the sanction they have given 200.81 crores. Uh, on the 17, if I'm not mistaken, on the 17 of October 2023. So this sanction was done and uh, work has been allotted also to two contractors. So the stretch which is coming from 69 to 120 kilometers, one contractor, and 120 to 171 kilometers to another contractor. Now this contractor have to have uh, have bidded and they got the contract. Now the contract work the Work is allotted to them about 103 crores and the other one is 60 crores. And uh, the 89.90 crores, it's, all, it's on process, DPR has been uh, sent to the ministry. The work has already been started since uh, March, actually, end of March. We're expecting by next March it should complete. And interestingly, the politics over the National Highway 6 road repairing started with NPP and VPP claiming to bring sanction for the said road. Earlier, Shillong MP Dr. Ricky A.J. Singkong met Union Minister for Road Transport and Highways Nitin Gatkari on Wednesday and dashed off a letter to Gatkari, drawing his urgent attention to the pitiable condition of National Highway 6, which passes through as many as four states, including Meghalaya. However, the NPP legislator asked the Shillong MP if he was managed, if he has managed to get an additional sanction since Chief Minister Conrad Sangma has already pursued it. Yeah, actually, uh, I'm also confused about that uh, amount because uh, the state government has already received, as I said, 200.81 crores. Now, if and all we are receiving or being sanctioned another 290 crores will be so much thankful to the Honorable MP of Shillong. I'll be very grateful. I myself will definitely visit him if he's getting another additional amount of 290 crores. I will be really grateful to him.